All right, guys, welcome to uh, this video. It's definitely not the one we thought we'd be making today. Unfortunately, some tragic news, as Matt shared with me and Sam, uh, was the gator farm, at least the reptile barn. We, we're not actually sure of the full extent right now. Obviously, it's pretty recent, but there was a pretty devastating fire. And it seems as of the latest message we saw that the entire snake population, lizard population, uh, parrots, a good amount of tortoises, uh, some cats uh, have perished in this fire. We're not sure as far as the alligators, uh, be it the albinos or the Nile crocodiles or even our famous gator from Happy Gilmore and the alligator movies survive so we will try to keep you guys updated we'll share some thoughts and then we'll let you know how you guys can help out and we're as a team gonna try to do some stuff as well because we've had a lot of good memories so we'll start with matt first i uh, you know it was um very exciting to get out there um this past summer last year um you know it was a really neat uh place you know i've always uh enjoyed alligators and the stories behind them and to think about like there's a gator farm in Colorado like what you know you, you really don't think about it but when you get out there and and see this place it's you know it's pretty neat um, it was a very unique uh, place uh, you know the people that we engaged with that day uh, very much cared for those animals you know they were very um, hospitable to the animals you know they uh they knew their stuff. They talked to us about them. They let us hold, you know, snake, alligator, everything. It was uh, kind of a surreal, super cool experience that, you know, um, I'll remember for a long time. So I hope that they're, they're able to get, you know, uh, rebuilt and uh, back to doing what they do best and taking care of these animals that uh, people abandon. Yeah. And so for those of you that don't know, I mean, we've done some videos, so we'll put some links up top. A lot of shorts as well. But the gator farm started off as a tilapia farm. And then, you know, they were rescuing some alligators. It's it's heated by um, geothermic uh, like conditions. So it's naturally heated. Uh, so that's why we can have alligators when it's snowy and stuff like that. But yeah, all these animals, uh, for the most part, were either retired from the showbiz, like we talked about, the alligator from the movie Alligator, Dr. Doolittle, Happy Gilmore. Um, or they were rescued from situations where people, for whatever reason, they think they can get these animals. They look cute when they're little, and then they grow up. And, yeah, they, I mean, I, I went there as a kid. Um, there's some pictures of me in, because I, I guess we went there right when it was closing. And they let me go behind the scenes and actually into the baby. I mean, obviously I was with somebody. But I could pick out that baby alligator I was going to hold. And yeah, that whole room was destroyed. And it, it, it's terrible because there were so many animals, so many beautiful animals. There was, of course, my favorite, the anacondas were in that room. The pythons, spirited dragons, tarantulas. Um, and like Matt said, we were just there. And again, we were planning to go. We were planning to go back out there. Um, we'll see what we can do. Maybe we can get out there, help them in the rebuilding process um sam any any thoughts stories yeah when i when i got that message from matt i was just like what how did like that's crazy because like they both said we were out there i was there a couple times when i was a child when it was like a lot smaller than it is now so they definitely have expanded but like it's still crazy to think about that they had a fire there wonder what caused it it seems like it was electrical, possibly at a breaker, is what we're told. Again, this is super early, so I'm sure we'll find out more. Um, it probably will be a little bit obvious. I'm sure these, you know, like Matt said, they everyone we talked to seemed like they really loved and were very passionate about these animals. So I'm sure they are just devastated. You know, the, there was, like I said, tons of animals um, and we have tons of pictures and videos of all these these creatures. And I was so, so close to holding one of those anacondas, too. I'm so sad. And they're just, it's always been my dream. And that last time we went, they were like 
so close, but he just wasn't trained enough. They were like, yeah, he if he was just a little bit more trained. So that's why we're like, okay, we'll get back out there. But there is a GoFundMe started um, at the time of recording. So before you guys are saying this, there's already been nine thousand dollars raised. Um, but the looks like the damage was at least two hundred and fifty thousand um, dollars. So that's their goal. Um, we will post it. Um, we'll try to share it. Make sure we can help in any way, way we can. Because again, you know, it's helping animals get out of negative situations as well as introduce you know people that may never see some of these animals in real life, and maybe you know in younger audiences spark something in them that wants to go be in you know a naturalist, go be a conservationist, you know, just see. And help these animals in the future so yeah we will we'll keep you updated just because obviously this is in our own backyard so that's why we wanted to talk about it we've been there i still have a lot of shorts i have not released so uh figuring out how i'm going to release those in what type of way um but yeah we will post that gofundme we'll post a picture of it at the end as well just so you guys actually have the right one we'll put a link in the description and we'll uh, we'll keep you updated with what we can do um to help help these animals help help them uh, matt sam anything else you want to say well just uh, i want to make sure people understand that um this is a place that you know took animals that need to be rehabilitated or animals that were um pets that people abandoned they're not going out into the wild and just grabbing these animals so um for the animal right activists out there these were the right people these were the people who were making sure these animals were able to live a quality life because they would not um survive in the wild because they didn't have the uh natural instincts that these animals need to have so you know this this is why it's even you know kind of more upsetting was you know they they were doing the right thing Mm -hmm. and to have this kind of huge setback for them is it's just it, it's saddening i mean it, it's an incredible place and um you know it hurt seeing that uh, uh message come through um this morning on one of the news feeds yeah i will say that uh because i read that at my lunch i believe or maybe just before my lunch because i had a little little window where i could actually look at my phone and changed my whole perspective of the day like i just i mean you feel bad for them you feel obviously bad for these animals that lost their lives i mean like we said it there was a lot of animals in that i mean it was a big big building luckily it didn't spread to the other buildings or didn't take the out the whole farm uh Uh sam anything else you want to say i'm still a little bit in shock of it i'm just it's weird that Things like that happen. I mean, with electrical, it's easy to do. I've seen it a couple of times from other things and was able to catch it. But if no one's there to, like, catch it, it can cause serious damage. So, yeah, it's and I'm, very sad. Yeah. Very like sad. you said, it, those type of fires move fast. Yes, they do. And they burn hot, and it's hard, hard to get out. And Mosca is kind of in the middle of nowhere the fire department did get there pretty quick though it sounds like about 20 minutes they were able to get there from the first call which is i think valiant and they were able to actually save what they say some tortoises in a couple of the caiman that we saw um in the the tanks so like we said we still don't know the full extent uh definitely financially bad but we don't know the extent of which animals uh, they really haven't said. They just said a majority. So right now, kind of worst case scenario, but we just want to give you guys a little news break. Um, just, again, also to help hopefully help them, you know, back on their feet. We'll share their GoFundMe and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, once we uh, once we figure out more, we'll let you know. But until then, uh, just stay tuned to the end of this. You'll see the picture of the GoFundMe again and, Check out the description below, and uh, hopefully next time it's a not a somber news break, something something positive. <laughs>